Okay guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Forgive the camera angle is a little bit, little bit tight, a little bit zoomed in. What we're we doing here today, um, we're finishing out the paintwork on this car. Now, I'm really impressed with the, this car's just been repainted and the paint job is just really good. You can see, you know, you can probably just see from the camera, although it always look good on camera, but you can probably get a rough idea from looking at it on camera that the car's looking great. There's no like overspray anywhere. There's no bogies. There's no fish eyes. There's no blistering. Um, there's no pickling. There's none of the none of the things that you might see when you have, you know, your car repainted. It's also been flattened and the peel level has been taken right down. And it's just, and it's been polished to a decent standard, but not to a detailing standard. And I personally don't expect a body shop to finish out a paintwork to the same level as detailers or detailers wouldn't exist. So there's a bit, bit of work to do. What do I mean by work? Well, let's just show you. Hopefully you can see some of this. Now this paintwork over here has been finished out and I'm doing, I'm using P301 micro cut and finish. That's an all in one finishing polish with a wax in it. And somewhere along here, there, you can see a bit of, that's product there. Just need to buff that. So I've, I've polished up to the K. Uh, now what I'm going to, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for signs of imperfections. Now in low light, this particular section here looks pretty good, doesn't it? But if we get the light on it, can you see that? That's buffer trailing. So it's been polished with a rotary. And you can also see on the camera some machine marring, can't you? So there's some buffer trowels and some marring. And that's what needs to be finished out. And if we follow this edge along here, you can see up here, that is, those are sanding marks. You see that haze there, like you can see it best. So that needs to be, that needs to be refined out. And of course, I do need to tape this, this up. I've been polishing without using any tape because I'm just sort of literally kissing the edge, but I need to go over the edge there. Um, and if we go down to here, there's some... I thought I saw a swirl there. This paint is generally finished out decently. There's the odd little mark in it. The buffer trail is there. So I'm just going to go over this as well, this section here, but we're going to work this bit here and sort this bit out. And you can just see what we're doing to deliver what I want to get, where I want to get to with this car. It's very easy. I've got hardly any tools. I'm just working nice and slowly and relaxed. And I'm not taking forever on this. Time is important, you know. So there you go. You've got a good view of it there. Just make sure I've cleaned off this. Right, we'll leave that there for a second. We'll mask up along here. that bit there that I need to really polish over. So I'm not going even going that whole way. I'm not gonna stay away from that tape down there. Follow the rules, make sure your flies are done up, John. I'm just using a tiny little inspection torch as well at the moment. It seems to be picking up. You can even see it quite well on the camera, couldn't you? Just this little flex pen is working just as well as a really bright one. harder to buff if you use loads. No, I'm not going to spread, I'm just going to start. About three, about speed three.
and then I've got to do two more sets to finish this section off. One set there, one set there. Just use this side to collect up 99% of the polish. <laughs> Now we get our lights on. Just make sure I've got no polishing. It's just some, see that? It's a little bit polished there. I just need to get that out. It's our sanding marks. Are they all gone? Yeah. But just do, we're getting a bit tighter there. See, just like that little edge there. So I'll just do that. Apart from that, that's now finished to the standard that I want. And then we'll go down here and just finish this off to, the, to get all this little fine machine marring out. Um, this camera's a lot better actually when, you're, when I'm zoomed in a bit further. It will look a bit weird, but it must be using a little different sensor. The, the wider sensor's a bit more washed out. So that's great. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of tape there and just get right to that edge along there. Um, and then there, and then there. And then the whole of this side, the roof, the bonnet, and the wing on the other side is done. And then I've just got to do the door and the rear quarter on the other side, and the boot lid, and the rear bumper. And the rear bumper, um, we will polish, but we'll just do it quite quickly, as long as it looks good. It's so low down. Uh, I don't, you know, it's all personal preference. There'll be people looking, looking to fault me at what I do with my car. That's what the reason I hesitate. <laughs> you know, you should, in theory, be spending as long on this bit down here as you should here. But I'm not going to be. I'll be, be giving the rear bumper a quick polish. And um, the rest, these areas, I want to make sure they're... They're spot on. So really easy to do this. So organised. Very few bits of tooling. You can see here, I'm really just... Polisher. Let's get rid of that. It's basically just tape, light, brush, polish, machine and pad, cloth. I swap in the cloths out regularly, flipping them around. And I do have some O&R here. Just because, like I said before... I'll just dust over the paintwork, spritz of O&R on the microfiber cloth, just go over it to pick up any dust and debris before I start polishing that might have fallen out, you know, from the roof or the ceiling when I'm not in here. So, uh, don't, don't look. Every time you look, you see a little mark. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. Um, take care. See you soon.